I think it's important for folks to understand what this minister is asking us as physicians to do. So I work in the emergency department. I also work as a family doctor. If a refugee from Hungary, one of the 37 countries on the list, comes to my emergency department and they're having a heart attack, what this minister wants me to say is, sorry sir, you're a refugee. You don't deserve health care in this country. You need to leave my emergency department. We do have life-saving medication, but you will not be receiving it today. You have to go home, I guess, to your own country to receive medication. Because, of course, having a heart attack is not a threat to public health. It's not putting us at risk. And it's not a threat to public security. They receive nothing. If a child is seizing in front of me, and they're from Mexico, a refugee claimant, not a threat to public safety, and certainly not a threat to public health. This minister wants me to do nothing to stand by and not treat this child. That's what they're asking us to do as physicians. Clearly, doctors will not do that. <clears throat> we will treat these conditions, we will treat these people, and the cost will be passed on to the taxpayer.